God, we thank you. We bless your name, O oh Lord. Early in the morning, we will lift our voice of praise unto you. Because, Father Lord, we went to bed and we slept, and here we are, Lord. We are awake again because you sustain us. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you are, for all that you have been, for all that you continue to be. Lord, we give you praise. Holy and righteous Father, we thank you for the times you have offered us strength and support. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the fellowship we have shared. We thank you, Father Lord, for the encouragement we were given and received. Lord, with a heart of gratitude, Lord, this morning, we come before you, Lord, to thank you, Father, for the way that you have guided and taught us. Lord, our Father, we thank you for the success we have achieved. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you for the dreams we still have. Lord, we thank you because, Father, you are holy and righteous, because we hold our very life to you. Lord, we say thank you this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the air that we breathe in. Lord, we thank you because you have washed over us from our birth. You have been our helper. You have kept us, oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Gracious God, we thank you for tenderly nurturing us and showering us with love. Father, say, we say thank you. You are our Father. And gracious God, we thank you because you have given us strength in times of need. Lord, hallelujah be to your name this morning. Gracious Father, we thank you because you comfort us in time of distress. Holy, righteous God, we thank you for your encouragement in time of despair. 
Lord, mighty Father, we say hallelujah be to your name for your guidance that you are giving to us in times of uncertainty. You have been dear for us, O Lord. Thank you, Father, because, O Lord, whatever we face, you have been with us. You have been our helper, holy and righteous God. We thank you for loving us with an unquenchable love. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Father God. When we sing your praise, you reveal yourself as the one who is worthy of all our adoration, holy and righteous Father. Early in the morning, we lift our voice unto you. Thank you, Father, for you point us to Christ and his sacrifice for our sin. Oh, Lord, we thank you because we can come to your throne this morning because of what Christ has done. Lord, not just only that we come, he beckons us that we come with confidence, come with boldness. Yes, Father God, we come to you, Lord, this morning with boldness of what Christ, because of what Christ has done for us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, mighty Father. You have shown us in Jesus that everything is safe in your hand. Oh, Lord, we thank you for nothing we give back to you will ever be wasted. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, as we have come this morning into the throne room of to obtain grace and mercy, yes, Father God, we are asking you, you are the God of mercy. It's because of your mercy that we are not consumed. So, Father God, in your mercy this morning, we ask that you will forgive us of our trespasses, forgive us of our sin, forgive us, O oh Lord. Just like the psalmist cry out to you that have mercy upon me, O oh God, according According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of the tender mercy, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Yes, Father God, we echo the same cry this morning, that Father God, will there be any sin in our life that we have sinned against you, or the one that you have created, we ask for forgiveness, O oh Lord. We ask that the blood of Jesus Christ will wash us from every iniquity from every transgression this morning and father lord will there be anyone that we need to forgive this morning give us the grace oh lord that is why we have come into the true room lord this morning to obtain grace and mercy so father lord the grace to forgive those who have hurt us those who have sinned against us those that are causing us pain father we pray that you pour that grace upon us this morning and father lord even before they ask for forgiveness you did not require them to ask us before we forgive them. Help us, O Lord, to forgive them. To release us, O Father, of the pain this morning, of the heavy load that we are carrying. Father, Lord, will there be anyone among us that have come into your presence this morning that is still holding grudges, that is not speaking to one another because of one thing or the other. Father, I pray that your spirit will bring healing to lift that burden up, O Lord and to make us to do the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord God Almighty, we bless your name this morning. We say hallelujah be to your name, O Lord, for what you are going to do in our midst this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. So, Father Lord, this morning, we ask, O Lord, pray with me that Holy Ghost fire incubate my body my soul my spirit for complete deliverance in the name of jesus christ holy ghost fire incubate incubate my body my soul my spirit for complete deliverance in the name of jesus christ let us ask the holy spirit this morning to do its work the blessed trinity are present the god the father god the son and god the holy spirit let us ask the holy spirit this morning that holy ghost fire purge my body Purge my soul and my spirit for complete deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, purge my body, my soul and my spirit for complete deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray this morning that Holy Ghost fire laminate my life for complete protection in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire laminate my life for complete protection laminate my life my children's life for complete protection in the name of jesus christ as the holy spirit this morning that holy ghost fire convert me to god's weapon of war in the name of jesus christ holy ghost fire 
convert me to God's weapon of war. In the name of Jesus Christ, you remember it is written in Acts chapter 2, 17, that it shall come to pass in the last days, said God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So that is why we are asking that, oh Lord, let your fire, the Holy Ghost fire, in the name of Jesus, I receive power to terrify every spiritual terrorist this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive power to terrify every spiritual terrorist in the name of Jesus Christ. Any spiritual terrorist that is terrorizing my life, my children's life, I receive the power to terrify them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray this morning that my Father, my Father, give me fresh fire to fight in the name of Jesus Christ. Because on my own, I cannot do it. Lord, I pray this morning, give me the fire to fight in the name of Jesus. Fresh fire this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that anointing that terrifies the enemy come upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing that terrifies the enemy come upon me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing of the overcomer come upon me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing of the overcomer come upon me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as the Lord this morning. That power of the Most High overshadow and incubate my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Power of the Most High God overshadow and incubate my life. Incubate my life this morning in the name of Jesus Christ because, oh Lord, I'm ready for a change. Are you ready for a change this morning? Are you, are you, will you allow him to transform you this morning? Let us begin to pray that fire power that cannot be resisted and insulted fall upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire power that cannot be resisted or insulted, fall upon me this morning. Fall upon me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that every agenda of wasters, every agenda of emptiers, every agenda assigned to embarrass me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, scatter, scatter this morning in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of wasters, every agenda of emptiers assigned to embarrass me in the name of Jesus Christ, scatter. Scatter, scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that powers are signed to make me a negative example in the name of Jesus. Lose your power. Scatter and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Powers are signed to make me a negative example in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command you to scatter, scatter and die, scatter and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that powers drinking the blood of my anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to lose your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, powers drinking the blood of my anointing. I command you to lose your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us cry out to this morning that every power is gathered to cut off the wings of my ego. In the name of Jesus Christ, scatter unto desolation. In the name of Jesus Christ, powers gathered. To cut off the wings of my eagles in the name of Jesus, I command you to scatter this morning. Scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Powers assigned to cut off the wings of my ego. Scatter, scatter by the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Make it clear this morning that disgrace producers, I am not your victim in the name of Jesus Christ. Disgrace producer, I declare unto you this morning, I am not your victim. My children are not your victim. My family are not your victim. In the name of Jesus Christ, disgrace producers. I am not your victim. In the name of Jesus, none of my members are also are your victim this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. I want us to pray that voices from my foundation contesting my with my calling. In the name of Jesus Christ, died by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, voices from my foundation contesting with my calling in the name of Jesus Christ I command you to die in the name of Jesus Christ maybe this prayer is for someone this morning that voices contest 
contended. Voices from my foundation contested with my calling. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning that anti-ministerial chain of my father's house break in the name of Jesus Christ. Anti-ministerial chain of my father's house break, break, break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us cry out to our father this morning that my father cover my defenseless head in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my father, cover my defenseless head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my God, cover my defenseless head in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Power to meet the needs of my generation. Hmm. You know you are here for a purpose, my dear brothers and sisters. Pray this morning that power to meet the needs of my generation fall upon me. Fall upon me this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, power to meet the need of my generation fall upon me. Fall upon me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we continue our prayer. Let's go to the word of God this morning. And I'm going to read from First Peter chapter 1. I will read from verses. Let me read from verses 13 through 16. It says, Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope in the on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. My dear brothers and sisters, the imminent return of Christ should motivate us to live for him. Christ is coming soon. And that should motivate us to live for him. This means be mentally alert, disciplined, Fully sovereign and focus that is set your hope. The question to us this morning are you ready to meet Christ living as God's obedient child? Are you ready? You see, the God of Israel and, the, and of the Christian is holy, he set the standard for morality. Unlike the Romans God, he is not warlike, adulterous, or spiteful. Unlike the gods of the pagan courts, popular in the first century, he is not bloodthirsty or promiscuous. He is a God of mercy and justice, who cares personally for each of his followers. Our only God expects us to imitate him by following his high moral standard. Like him, we should be both merciful and just like him. We should sacrifice ourselves for others. You see, after people commit their life to Christ, they usually still feel a pull back to their old ways. Peter tells us to be like our Heavenly Father. Holy in everything we do. Holiness means being totally devoted or dedicated to God. Set aside for his special use and set apart from sin and its influence. We are to be set apart and different, not blending in with the crowd. Yet not being different just for the sake of being different. No. What makes us different are God's qualities in our life. Our focus and priorities must be His. 
and this is in direct contrast to our old ways we cannot become holy on our own but god give us his holy spirit to help us obey and to give us power to overcome sin don't use the excuse that you can't help slipping into sin call on god's power to free you from sin's grip call on god's power so do you sense something in your life needs to change are there areas that simply aren't working are you willing to say lord i want to exalt you i've had enough of my own i want to live by yours be ready to change if so, ask God to identify the areas where you are sinful, the areas where you are self-centered and struggling rather than Christ-centered and victorious. And whatever he brings to mind, acknowledge that he is right and make the decision to turn from your ways. It will show you how you should read scripture. As they reveal principle from his word, apply them to your life. Even when they don't completely make sense and trust him to bless your obedience. Answer all the questions, dilemmas, and challenges you encounter with this. Lord Jesus, what will you have me do? I want to obey you. As we go out this morning, we are going to encounter it. Even if we don't go anywhere, you are just in the home, you are going to encounter it. But ask Jesus, what will you have me do? I want to obey you. Not only will you will doing so transform your life, it will build the most wonderful, profound, and indescribable intimacy between you and the Savior. And may the Lord help us to do so. So pray this morning that Father God, I've come into your presence and I want you to transform me. I want you to transform me. Please reveal if there's anything in my life that displeases you. Pray, be transparent this morning. Be vulnerable in the presence of our Father. He knows everything anyway, but it's good when we are willing to, you know, with our mouth, we ask him, Lord, please reveal if there's anything in my life that displeases you. Show me the way I should go. I want to obey you. Pray this morning. That mighty Father God, show me the way I should go. I want to obey you, Lord. I want to listen to your voice. I want to hear that voice, that gentle voice, Lord. Reveal to me any area of my life. Reveal to me, Lord, this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So this morning, we're going to pray. We're going to be a prophet, prophesy to our life this morning. Micah 7, it says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemies. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I repeat that again. This morning, Micah 7, 8, no matter your condition, no matter you say, oh, I cannot change. No, this morning, as you commit yourself to the Lord, the word of God says, rejoice not against me, O oh my enemies. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Hallelujah, this morning. Therefore, I shall not quench the fire of the Holy Spirit in me in the name of Jesus Christ. You remember, we all just, just pray for the fire of the Holy Spirit to come upon us. Pray, make that declaration, prophesy upon yourself this morning. I shall not quench the fire of the Holy Spirit in me in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not quench the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I am filled with all the spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Jesus' name. I I am filled with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in the name of Jesus Christ. 
pray this morning declare over your life this morning i have resurrection power within me in the name of jesus christ i have resurrection power within me in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus my words are increasing in power and force in the name of jesus christ my words are increasing in power and force in the name of jesus christ i possess a merry heart that dwell good like medicine in the name of jesus christ declare over your life over your family this morning i possess a merry heart that dwell good like medicine in the name of jesus christ god has given me dominion in the mighty name of jesus christ god has given me dominion in the name of jesus christ i shall cooperate with god in the land of my life i shall live in the name of jesus christ i shall cooperate with, with god in the kind of life i should live in the name of jesus christ i shall cooperate with my god in the kind of life i should live in the name of jesus declare this morning i am complete in the lord jesus christ i am complete 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 in him it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone declare this morning i am complete in the lord jesus christ in the name of jesus i speak and think of whatever is of good report in the name of jesus christ i speak and think of whatever is of good report because that is what the word of god said that think all these things things that are good good report this is what we should think of this morning i declare i agree with the word of god that i speak and think of whatever is of good report in the name of jesus christ and my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory in the name of jesus christ i prophesy over my life over my family that my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory in in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare divine acceleration, laughter into my life, into my children's life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree divine acceleration, laughter into my life, into my children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare good news, bombard my life before the end of this year. In the name of Jesus, Christ, good news, bombard my life before the end of this year. In in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that you, the tongue, raining incantation on me, dry up in the name of Jesus Christ, because I have the power the authority to condemn any mouth, any tongue that is being raised against me this morning. You, the tongue, rainy incantations on me, dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. You, the tongue, rainy incantations upon me, dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare this morning, my heart will not be a stony ground for the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My heart will not be a stony ground for the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Every hunter of my soul, shoot yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hunter of my soul, shoot yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that every mountain of confrontation crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain of confrontation this morning crumble in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mountain of confrontation in the name of Jesus, I command you to crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Because who are thou, you mountain? Before me, mention your name this morning. Who are thou, you mountain, before me? You shall become a plain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you mountain of confrontation, I command you to crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, according to the word of the Lord, in Isaiah 54, verse 11, he said, O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay the stones with fierce colors, and I lay the foundation with sapphire. And Psalm 34, 19 said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all, standing on the promises and the assurance of the word of God this morning. Pray 
that all evil umbrellas preventing heavenly showers from falling upon me be roasted by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. All evil umbrellas preventing heavenly showers from falling upon me, upon my children in the name of Jesus. Receive the fire of God, be roasted, be roasted, be roasted in the name of Jesus Christ. All evil umbrellas preventing heavenly showers from falling upon me and upon my family be roasted this morning. Be roasted by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray that, Lord, let all evil associations summon for my sake. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. All evil associations summon for my sake. Scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. All evil associations summon for my sake. Scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be scattered this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray that my Father, my Lord, crucify anything in me that will remove my name from the book of life, O oh Lord, mighty Father, and help me to crucify my flesh in the name of Jesus Christ because we want a change. We want a transformation in our life. Pray this morning that, O oh Lord, crucify anything in me that will remove my name from the book of life. Father, Lord, help me to crucify my flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we need your help. We have come to the throne room, O oh Lord, to obtain grace and mercy in time of need. And Lord, this is the time of need because in the world that we live is so corrupt, O oh Lord. There is too much immorality. We cannot hide anywhere. But Father God, by your help, help us, O oh Lord. Help us, Father God, because you are holy God. You have called us to holiness. Father Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that you will crucify anything in us, O oh Lord, that will remove our name from the book of life. Father, Father, Lord, help us, help us, Father, to crucify our flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that Father give me power to overcome myself. Give me power to overcome myself in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we are the enemies of ourselves this morning. Ask the Lord, give me the power, Lord, to overcome myself in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Some of us. We are from polygamous background. And, and you will say, okay, I only have one five, one husband, but because I divorced daughter and I married this one, it's still a spirit of polygamy. But some of us, it's just boyfriend, girlfriend. You have this one, you drop. You have the other one, you drop. All those are the spirit of polygamy that is manifesting in different ways. So pray this morning that every problem connected with polygamy in my life be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Every problem connected with polygamy in the life of my children be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified. Every problem connected with polygamy in my life be nullified. Be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified this morning. Every problem connected with polygamy in the life of my children by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ be nullified this morning. Be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray. You may think this prayer is not necessary, but I want you to pray it anyway that every cause issued by my husband or by my wife be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, we, 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 we hurt one another. We speak the word that we're not supposed to speak. And that as a result, we curse each other. Pray this morning. Oh, mighty Father, by your mercy, every curse issued by my husband or by my wife, accordingly whether you are a man you say wife whether you are a woman you say husband and if you are not married you have boyfriend or girlfriend before pray this morning that every cause issue by my husband by my boyfriend or girlfriend be nullified in the name of jesus christ every cause issue upon my daughter by boyfriend in the name of jesus be nullified every cause issue upon my son by girlfriend be nullified by the power in the blood of jesus christ be 
nullify, be nullified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I hold the blood of Jesus against that focus in the name of Jesus. For Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. It is written, cause is anyone that is hung on the pole. Jesus Christ has fulfilled that price this morning. Every cause issued upon my life, upon my children, upon my husband, upon my wife, this morning be nullified, be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that all satanic deposits in my life be roasted by the fire of God this morning. In the name of Jesus, all satanic deposits in my life be roasted. Be roasted by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And command this morning that every satanic reinforcement against me in the name of Jesus be scattered. Be scattered this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic Reinforcement against me, be scattered, be scattered unto desolation in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that every power of any family idol affecting my life and my home be broken now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of any family idol that is affecting my life, that is affecting my home in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above all the name, this morning be broken, be broken by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Cancel. Cancel all evil arrows. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The righteous are delivered. But it comes of the wicked instead. This morning, cancel. That I cancel all evil arrows that are affecting me negatively. I cancel them by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I cancel them by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you know where you are operating from this morning? The word of God said that we are seated with the Lord Jesus Christ in the heavenly places. This morning, I take my place with Christ Jesus and I declare that every evil arrow that are affecting my life negatively, every evil arrow that is affecting my children's life negatively, I cancel them. Be canceled by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God said the righteous are rescued from trouble and it comes of the wicked instead. And the blood of Jesus has made us to be righteous. Therefore, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, taking my position with the Lord Jesus Christ in the heavenly realm this morning. I cancel all evil vows, all evil vows that are affecting my life, that are affecting my children's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel them this morning. Every evil vow, every evil vow, every evil vow that is affecting my life, affecting my life negatively, I cancel it this morning. I cancel it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy the timetable, the clock of the enemy. Destroy it this morning. Just imagine that you take that clock and you shatter it to pieces. Whatever you lay your hand upon this morning, whether it's the hammer, whether whatever, whether you say, use it this morning. In the name of Jesus, prophetically, I'm talking. That in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy the clock and the timetable of the enemy for my life, for my children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy the clock and the timetable of the enemy for my life by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I erase that. That timetable. I erase that timetable. All the things they have scheduled, all the things they have planned. I erase it with the blood of Jesus Christ. I erase it with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we erase it this morning. Destroy the clock and the timetable. It of the enemy for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because in the name of Jesus Christ, God shall arise and He shall do whatever He has planned for to do in my life on time in the name of Jesus Christ. So every spirit of delay. Hey, in the name of Jesus, let us cry against it this morning. I cry against you. Every spirit of delay, every spirit of stagnation, in the name of Jesus, I bind you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, pray that Lord, 
reschedule my enemies to useless and harmless assignment in the name of Jesus Christ so you can move on this morning pray that Lord reschedule my enemies to useless and an harmless assignment in the name of Jesus Christ so they will waste their time on those assignments while I move on oh Lord my father reschedule them reschedule my enemies my children enemies to useless and harmless assignment in the name of Jesus so we can move on for our life in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen let us pray that Lord every good thing that is dead in my life come alive by the power by the mercies of God let every good thing that is dead in my life come my life now in the name of Jesus by the mercies of God loving father let every good thing that is dead in my life every good thing that is dead in the life of my children I cry out to you this morning Lord let it come alive let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ come upon such it is in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord my father let every good thing that is dead in my life every good thing that is dead in the life of my loved ones this morning let it come alive in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen pray this morning that lord let every evil device gives me be disappointed in the name of jesus christ oh mighty father let every evil device against me be disappointed in the mighty name of jesus because father you said you will frustrate the devices of the crafty so that their hand will not be able to perform so father lord this morning let every evil device against me be disappointed in the name of jesus christ let every device against my children be disappointed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord my father let him be disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen let us pray that father give me heavenly wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord mighty father give me heavenly wisdom I do not want to use the worldly wisdom I've been using them father but it has not helped me instead it's getting me into more trouble 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 this morning father God I want a change I want a transformation give me heavenly wisdom you said if any one of us lack wisdom we should ask so father God this morning according to your word hear our cry where we need your wisdom heavenly wisdom grant it unto us so lord bestow it upon us in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let us pray that i command every negative oracle to become silenced and impotent in the name of jesus christ every negative oracle to become silenced and become impotent in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus pray this morning that let the fire of god come down and consume every power in the air walking against me walking against my family in the name of jesus bounty father god by your mercy let your fire come down and consume every power in the hair walking against me because oh lord you are consuming fire let your fire come down and consume every power in the hair walking against me every power on the ground walking against me every power under the ground walking against me let your fire come down let your fire come down lord let your fire come down and consume every power whether in the hair on the ground on the land walking against me in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen hmm. I exclude myself and my breakthroughs from the agenda of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ I exclude myself my family my breakthroughs from the agenda of Satan in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ I exclude myself and my children my breakthrough we put anything in this this morning that you want to exclude you are letting them know I am no more your candidate I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ I exclude myself my family my breakthrough my my, my glory from 
from the agenda of Satan, I exclude it this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I exclude it this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every conspiracy targeted against me must fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, every conspiracy targeted against me must fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that Father God, let every evil power be converted to testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, mighty Father, you know what I've experienced, you know what I've gone through. Be playing with our Father this morning. This is the true room that you have come. Speak to the Lord. What is your issue? What did you bring? What is causing you? that make you to rise up early in the morning and he say i will rise up i will lift up my voice so lift up your voice this morning tell the lord what is it i don't know it because i can read your mind tell the lord we're just praying a general prayer but be specific this morning that the lord this is the issue that i need your power to manifest tell the lord this morning lay it before him Lay it before him this morning. Just like the psalmist said, that early in the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. You will hear my voice. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning concerning the issue that is paining you. I give us few seconds to do that before we move on. That's Lord, you know, you are the one. He's the only one. Is the God that answers prayer. Is the one that say, call unto me, and I will answer you and show the great and mighty things. So tell the Lord yourself this morning. What is the issue? What do you want him to do? You'll be crying for mercy. Just that Bartimaeus cry out for mercy. Lord Jesus, have mercy. And the Lord Jesus still ask him, what do you want me to do? And I want my eyes to be open. Pray this morning. Ask the Lord. In your mercy, Lord, do this for me. Do this, do this, do this, do this, Lord. Because I know you are loving Father. You are a compassionate God. Father God, just that the hearts of the maid look up unto the, uh, the, the master. So, Father, we look our our hearts is looking up to you this morning. Father God, that you show us your mercy. We wait on you, Lord, this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Because you are backing unto the voice of our cry. You are our king and you are our God. For unto thee, Lord, we pray. And our voice you've heard in this morning. As we direct our prayer unto you, we look up to you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah be to your name. Because they that put their trust in you will never be put to shame. We bless your holy name, Lord, because you are going to do far more exceedingly than what we've asked you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, and power be unto you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue our prayer for intercessory. Please wait behind and let us intercede for one another. And after that, if you have time, we wait for our physical exercise. God bless you. Okay, uh, I think I will move on this morning. And I want us to pray for our children, especially those that are going back to school. And not only that, for our children to fulfill their destiny. God has upon them. They will fulfill their destiny. So let us cry out for our children. Whether they are young or old, this morning. That Father God, we lift our children before you. You can mention your, the name of the children that you have, whether it's your biological children or not. Let us lift them up this morning. All of our children, Lord. We lift their destiny. Because we know that, Father, according to your word, that your plan and purpose for our children is good, O oh Lord. Your plan for them is to give them hope, O oh Father God. This morning, Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that our children will fulfill their destiny. That, Lord, you will move forward, either, Lord, with your signs and wonders in the life of our destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let our children receive the touch of God. Let the destiny of our children receive the touch of God and enter into their breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, this morning, every power calling the name and the head of our children for evil in order to do them evil. Let the thunder fire of God answer them and destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that every power calling the name and the head of our children for evil in order to do them evil. Father, let your fire, let your thunder fire of God answer them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our Father, this morning, we ask, O oh Lord, we lift our children before you, that every arrow of wickedness and destruction targeted against the destiny of our children will not locate them. By the mercies of God, we will not locate them. So speak to that arrow, that you arrow of wickedness, deadly and destruction targeted against our children, for our children's destiny. This morning, you will not locate them. Locate your honor and destroy your honor in the name of Jesus Christ. You, every arrow of wickedness and destruction targeted against the destiny of our children, you will not locate them. You will not locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, locate your honor and destroy your honor in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says, whosoever dig a hole, we fall into it. Whosoever throw a stone, it will roll back onto him. Therefore, every arrow of wickedness and destruction targeted against the destiny of our children, you will not locate them. You will not locate them. Locate your honor. Locate your honor in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, every stubborn household enemy delegated to bury the destiny of our children this morning. Oh, mighty Father God, let the ground open up and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, there are instances in the Bible where the earth open up and swallow. When Satan, the dragon, pursued the woman and poured water. You know, water in the Bible is affliction, is trouble. Any poor water, what happened? The earth opened up. The earth helped the woman. The earth opened up and swallowed the water. That is why we can pray that every stubborn household enemy delegated to bury the destiny of our children this morning. Oh, ground. Oh, hell. Health. Open up and swallow them. Swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit of Antichrist pursuing the life of our children to hellfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that spirit die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Antichrist. You can tell every mother and father, cry for their children. Especially when they go, even before they go to, to college. Ah, Pray this morning. Every spirit of Antichrist pursuing the life of our children to hellfire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that fire, that fire of God to be upon that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that every seed of failure planted in the life of our children to disgrace and destroy their destiny, let that seed catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. If you not have any, you do not have to have any child before you pray for children this morning. We pray for children generally this morning. Every seed of failure planted in the lives of our children to disgrace and destroy their destiny, cast fire, cast fire in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of God, cast fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. I want us to pray that every power seeking for revenge on our children for this sins of their parents in order to destroy their destiny receive the sword of destruction and die in the name of Jesus not that this child has offended them but because of what their parent has done they seeking revenge pray this morning every power seeking for revenge on our children in any of these of our children for the sins of their parents in order to destroy their destiny receive the sword of destruction and die in the name of Jesus Christ receive 
receive this destruction, receive the sword of destruction and die in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that every witchcraft in my foundation, rebellion against my children, every witchcraft in that make it personal, that every witchcraft in my foundation, rebellion against my children, lose your hold and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, every witchcraft in the foundation, in our foundation that is rebelling against our children this morning. We cry against you. Lose your hold and die in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe there's a cause or there's a covenant in the foundation working against the destiny of these children this morning. Play the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us play the blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. We ask this morning that every cause, every covenant in the foundation the of work against the destiny of these our children blood of jesus break the break and destroy them break and destroy them in the name of jesus christ every cause of covenant in the foundation working against the destiny of any of these children oh blood of jesus christ we ask that we break and destroy them in the name of jesus christ let us pray that none of these our children, whether they are young or old, will harbor bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. None of their destiny will harbor bewitchment. We soak their destiny in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, the power in the blood of Jesus to redeem. We soak the, our children's destiny in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we say that this, our children's destiny, refuse to harbor bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children's destiny, hear the word of the Lord this morning, refuse to harbor bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that we there be any generational cause any collective family captivity over the life of these children that it will break by the power in the blood of jesus christ pray that in the name of jesus christ we break every generational causes and collective family captivity over the lives of our children by the blood of jesus christ lord our god we leave this our children before you in your mercy father god this morning break every generational causes break every collective family captivity over the lives of this our children by the blood of jesus christ oh lord break it break it in the name of jesus christ let it be broken this morning by the power in the blood of jesus christ Pray as a parent, <laughs> pray as a prophet, that every door, every gate, the enemy has closed against the destiny of our children. Hear the word of the Lord, Ephrata. Be open now to success and breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the door of academics, the door of marriage, every door this morning, every door, every gate the enemy has closed against the destiny of our children this morning. Hear the word of the Lord. Ephrata, be open now to success and to breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every door, every gate the enemy has closed against the destiny of our children. Hear the word of the Lord, Ephrata. Ephrata, be open. Be open now to success and breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I want us to pray that every spiritual death sentence pass on our children <laughs> be reversed, be reversed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual death sentence pass on our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift our voice together this morning. Be reversed, be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spiritual death sentence pass on our children. Be reversed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be reversed, be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be reversed in Jesus' name. This morning, every covenant of delay, 
and denier, <laughs> militating against the destiny of our children, expire, expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant of delay and denier, militating against the destiny of our children, expire now, expire now, expire in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, expire in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, mighty Father, by your power this morning. Let every covenant of delay, whether it's marital delay, academic delay, whatever it is this morning, every covenant of delay and denial, militating against the destiny of our children this morning, expire by fire, expire by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, expire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft utterances and projection against the destiny of our children be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ and backfire. In the name of Jesus Christ, every witchcraft utterances and projection against the destiny of our children, of our grandchildren, be nullified. Be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty God. I want us to pray this last prayer that every satanic vehicle transporting the blessing of my children to demonic market for sale, crash land, cast fire, and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every satanic vehicle transporting the blessings of my children, the blessings of our children to demonic market for sale, crash land, and cast fire, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the authority in the word of God this morning. Every satanic vehicle transporting the blessings of our children to demonic market for sale, crash land, cast fire, and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be to your name, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, because the destiny of our children are ready for transformation. We also are ready for transformation, and we will continue to praise you. Lord, we thank you as you bless our going in and our coming in. Everything is in your hand. You are in control. We have nothing to fear. Hallelujah be to your name, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As we go now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Now we can shift to our exercise. If you have the time, stay behind.